Hello, hello, bougie babes. Let's get into this tutorial. So this is Emily. We're doing her skin prep. Uh, we're, of course, starting with the First Aid Beauty um, exfoliating pads, and I am now going in with Hyaluronic Acid Serum. She has stunning skin, um, but we still got to prep it, make sure it's nice and well hydrated. Um, this is a under eye cream. Um, she is, I believe, a junior or a senior in high school, so assuming that maybe her skin uh care isn't like to the full ex extent so still want to take care of it um i was putting on some lumi lotion from l'oreal and look at all that glow that it added um now she said she's a little sweaty in the t-zone so we're using one size beauty um in that t-zone to help her uh prevent sweat and shine um but yeah you can like see the glow on her face already it's crazy um this is a little um aquaphor for her lips and a little embryo lease a light cream to moisturize and prime that skin even more blending all of that in uh today we're going for a look that is um glowy but simple um it was for a like very like natural photo shoot so we didn't want to change her look we just wanted to um elevate her for the camera so that's exactly what we're doing so i'm filling in her brows pretty lightly um with the senna cosmetics um brow powder and then we're going back in with a gel in just a moment um, I am going to be using the NYX gel. I think this was um, in the shade maybe Espresso. Um, so brows are done. Again, looking nice, looking fluffy, but not overdone. Um, I'm now using a, a Catrice concealer, and we are just priming those lids, making it a slightly brighter color than her um, skin tone, just so I can like really blend it out. Um, and same going on with Beauty Blender, really blend it out and make it like a really nice base. Give her a little brightening, but nothing too intense. Now I'm going in with a MAC paint pot and we're just adding some glow to those lids. Again, nothing severe, nothing serious. Um, there's just a little bit of glow so that when it catches the camera, it looks really natural and beautiful. Now I'm going in with a Viseart shadow in, uh, I believe this is like an, a medium brown. I'm just building up that crease a little bit. Um, just giving a little bit of dimension, a little bit of shape. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's kind of, uh, it with the eyeshadow. I think I used a slightly darker shadow as well. Yeah, there you go, by the lash line. Um, just to build up the future liner that we're going to be adding on top of it. So, just kind of building, building, slowly building, I feel like, with a natural eye. It's really important to do a slow build. So, not just pile on a ton of stuff, just a slow, slow build. Um, so now I'm going in with a black eyeliner. Uh, this is actually from the drugstore. These are the Maybelline Eye Studios, I think, gel eyeliners. Um, I got them in black and chocolate brown recently, and they're really great. Um, now I am just setting it with a black eyeshadow to make sure that it really is as waterproof as it says. Um, so now I am going in and kind of like uh, working on finding the right lash for her. Um, making sure that they're the right size. So um, it took a minute <laughs> to get these lashes going, but that's fine. Um, now we're sizing them on her. I find that the lashes, these are the Ardell 421s. I find that a lot of times they're just a little bit too big for most of my clients. So I snipped them. I used the Lash Duo Glue, the latex free, cause you never know. Um, and then we are placing that right on there, uh, making sure they're nice and fitted. And look at how that lash just like adds that natural like glow to her she looks so good with a false lash um especially for photos i always recommend even if you're not used to wearing false lashes it makes such a difference in a photo i can't even tell you even you can see with the video the difference that it makes for her wild okay so now we're adding the other one and you can already tell right now with everything we've done so far with the eyes she looks like her but just glowy she doesn't look dramatically different but she still has some shapes some glow and some color to her eyes I, I really truly love doing this look for her now we're using a combination of foundations from face atelier uh, putting them to the center of her face and blending them outwards this foundation i love it you can sheer it out you can um, double it up and make it more full coverage. It's just that good. I actually just bought some more because I can't get enough. Um, I like to blend with a brush and then I like to really push in with the Beauty Blender. Um, I'm now going underneath her eyes with, that's actually the Wet n Wild Concealer. I'm telling you, it's that good. Putting it in the under eye and then highlighting the center of her face as well. Blending it out with a Beauty Blender and really just kind of making sure it's fully blended and doing a little bit of lifting and a little bit of concealing all at the same time. Um, okay, now I'm adding a little bit of a dark shadow underneath her eye, um, just to, again, make the eye look a little more complete, um, make it look a little less bare. It was just feeling a little bit bare to me. So we added kind of like a dark brown underneath, and oh gosh, yeah, I love the way her eyes are looking already. 
so good um, now we're gonna add a cream blush cream blush equals life to me so um, we are doing the um, uh, I think it's the HD. Oh, I'm forget. Oh, Makeup Forever. Makeup Forever HD. Uh, Asking to do the fish face. <laughs> and now we are doing some contour with a Danessa Myricks uh, cream palette. Making sure we blend that down the neck. Um, I didn't want to do too much on her. Um, I didn't want her to look too severe. Again, wanted to keep this natural. So we just did a little bit just to give her some color and just a tiny bit more structure. Making sure everything is blended. Um, working that in down her neck. Um, and now we are setting the under eye with some uh, setting powder. Um, okay, now we're setting the whole face with setting powder from Charlotte Tilbury, making sure that things are set and looking good before I apply more powder products. I'm now using the Milani blush in Luminoso. It got natural highlighter in it, so like, let's go. I love a two-in-one product. Now I'm giving her a little bit of bronzer. This is from uh, Benefit, and this is their Hula bronzer, just to warm up that skin even more. Um, and now we are gonna wipe off her lips and get started with the lips. So this was a funny moment because I was using a Milani lip liner and then the uh, matte lipstick that I'm about to take out of my bag, you're gonna see her smile in a minute. That's exactly the lipstick that she uses and I had no idea prior. So that was kind of a cool moment because like as a makeup artist without knowing her ever, um, I like intuitively kind of knew what lipstick would look good on her. So it's just really cool that that's the one that she buys for herself and wears every day. Um, so now we are going to put a gloss on top and I, I just think she looks so good. <laughs> um, she looks like herself, just like super chic um, and elevated. And in my mind, that is good makeup when you still look like you, but you look elevated and you look ready and you look glowy and you look snatched and all the things. Um, but that you still, at the end of the day, look like you. Um, so yeah, I absolutely loved this look. We are going to be using uh, some mascara now, waterproof. Um, this is a must in order to kind of make sure that the real um, the real lashes match with the false ones. Then we sprayed her and we are good to go. It's a final look. 